All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. This is Jack Archer playing Criminal Case. Look at that, baby. Ah, just kidding, man. Just kidding. It's Pitching Ace 88, and we're back playing World Edition. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this. All right, so you're gonna have North America, South America, Africa, Oceania, East Asia, South Asia, Eurasia, Sahara region, Africa. Awesome, and we get new pets, basically in the next case, that's awesome. God save the Prince. The Bureau's European headquarters, London, England. Oh. Hey, Senior Trooper Ace, it's an honor to meet you. I hear you're an expert on murders. Solving them, that is. Welcome to London. My name's Ingrid Bourne, Secretary to the Chief of the Euro Bureau's European Branch. As I'm sure you've heard, the Bureau are the elite. We report to no government or higher order, only to justice. We fight the criminals no one else fights, and we want you to join us. But let me make this clear. The world's safety is in our hands. This is dangerous top secret work and if you're not interested in the challenge then i suggest you leave now what do you say of course i want to do this man i was born for this excellent we understand each other now let's meet the chief chief ripley she looks a little scary to be honest ma'am this is senior trooper ace the new recruit ah ace just in time you've been following the news i presume no well we better show you Ingrid, fetch the slides. Or the <laughs> slides. Okay, we'll go through slides. We'll go old school. Over the past few months, Europe's been hit by an unprecedented wave of violence. Belgium's atomium was burned to the ground. The Prime Minister of Denmark was assassinated. The Amsterdam riots were horrific. And these are just the attacks the public know about. We're pretty sure there's someone behind this, but we have no idea who. And that's why we brought you to Britain, Ace. We need you to find out who's behind this chaos. Right, let's hit the ground running. You're going to Westminster Lane in London. Local police have asked for help. I'm not sure what with. And I'm partnering you with Jack Archer. I believe you've already met. He'll meet you there in about... Ma'am, is it wise to partner Ace with Jack? He's a, he's a little wild. Unorthodox is what we need right now. Besides, with Ace around, Archer might actually learn something. All right, so for those of you guys who never caught any of the, the previews or the lead-ups to this, um, Jack Archer is my age. He's from the same area that I'm from. Uh, so one of his personality traits is charming, and everyone knows that I'm Prince Charming. And uh, someone pointed out that Archer, if you remove every other letter, it actually his last name is A. So you, A, skip R, C, skip H, E, and then you skip the R. Um, so just kind of a cool little tidbit. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> What's all this then? Blimey, don't you know this is a bleeding crime scene? Oh, it's you, Senior Trooper Ace. Don't you recognize me, mate? I don't. Who the heck are you? Sorry about the disguise, Ace. I was trying to blend in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Glad you got here so fast. Something's definitely not right on this street, Senior Trooper. I've cleared the area so you can have a look around. But I'll leave it to you. I need to get out of this costume before anyone assumes I'm a real British policeman and asks me about Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, fantastic, fantastic. Man, I'm... Pretty excited about this. All right, so we got barrel, dog, broken pieces. I'm assuming this is probably a taxi. Yep, victim's body. Oh, uh, is he royalty? That's not good. Oh, I didn't. I sorry, I skipped that so quickly. Carmen is also in that picture. That's pretty cool. And my new pet. Or not my new pet, but he's really just my upgraded pet. Nice. Oh, 
I'm just a visitor, but I'm guessing a body in a phone box is on everyday London occurrence. And his face looks swollen like he's suffocated. Wait a minute, I know who this is. Ace, it's Prince Albert. He's the heir to the British throne. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Who'd want to kill a royal? Everyone loves a royal family. I better call the chief and update her. Chief, we've got a problem. Prince Albert has been killed on Westminster Lane. What are your orders? Oh, dear God. What was the prince doing on Westminster Lane? This is a disaster. Right. Keep the murder secret until Ace catches his killer. We don't want to start a panic. Okay, Ace. First, we gotta get this body to Angela. She's our genius coroner. She'll be able to tell us something about this prince. What else did you pick up? Some broken metal pieces? Alright, let's see how fast you can put them back together. Excuse me, out of my way. I have a jolly important meeting with jolly important fellows at the bank. Excuse yourself, pal. This is a crime scene. There's a dead body, if you haven't noticed. Goodness gracious, that's the prince. I, I thought I saw something near that telephone box, but I never. You saw something. Right, Senior Trooper Ace, we'll need to talk to you. You gone potty? Don't you know who I am? The Monopoly guy. <laughs> Look, I don't care. We're on a murder case. Your meeting can wait. Justice can. Oh man, if he's gonna be as funny as Roxy on the case with us all the time, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> You're the Monopoly guy. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. So luckily I got a star real quick. Alright, so this looks like a crest for sure. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I'm super excited. I love that they're branching it off by countries and stuff. Hey, good job. These bro those broken pieces you picked up on the crime scene make this pendant. Looks like a family crest, but whose? And what was it doing next to the prince's body? You got any tricks up your sleeve for this? Oh, you have access to the database? Man, you do have high clearance. All right, well, I'll let you run this family crest through the database. Thanks, man. I definitely will. But I actually have to grab a couple stars, so I will see you guys back here. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. I grabbed some stars, so let's head on. What's up? Oh, CEO of European Bank. It's really a crying shame about Prince Albert. My bank is responsible for managing the royal fortune, so I met the fellow often. Darn good chap. Well, you don't seem that upset. That's my British stiff upper lip. No need to get all melodramatic and American about something as trivial as a murder. Well, you mentioned seeing something strange near the phone box. What was it? I saw someone hiding in the bushes, watching that telephone box. I presumed it was just some chap with a phone fetish. Couldn't make out a bloody thing about the shadowy fellow, but I did see them run off to the Globe Theatre. The Globe Theatre? That old looking theatre in the center of town? Well, that's worth checking out. Let's go, Ace. In all the world's a stage. That's gonna be the cool thing about going to these different countries and places, is that you're gonna have, um, you know, locations that are very, very popular. Ah, Nabla. Nice. Not too shabby, 10 seconds, I'll take it. Ah, uh, this case goes to the very top. It says here that the crest you found on the crime scene belongs to Count Rupert. According to the database, Count Rupert is next in line to the throne. Prince Albert dies, Rupert inherits the crown. Sounds like this guy is the perfect motive. Come on, let's go talk to him. Yeah. Just a bit. Sounds like he has a huge motive. Do hurry this one up. One has to get back for one's polo match this afternoon. Something tells me your match is gonna be canceled, your lordship. Prince Albert has just been murdered. Well, good gracious. Albert dead? How could this be? Who'd want to harm that sweet, innocent man? Well, that's what we're trying to work out. You do know that this now makes you the heir to the throne. The heir? Ooh, how interesting. One is gobsmacked. It also makes you a suspect. Ah, don't be absurd. How ridiculous. One would never kill someone just to become heir to the richest kingdom in the world. That's just poppycock. 
Man, their their uh, verbiage is just fantastic. So we can find here. Dragon Owl. Cat costume box. Candles new. Yep. Because I already found everything in, in the time attack one. Hmm, so that shady fellow, that snooty banker mentioned to come to this theater. Have you found anything that connects them to our case? I think the candles could shed some light on why the killer came here? I think there's something written on it? I'll get your dust in case you can take a closer look. Cool, you picked up that box of costumes. I'll handle this. I'm the master of disguise, after all. Oh, all right, you go ahead this time, Ace. Let's see if you find anything interesting in there. He's a master of disguise, so he's the new Ramirez. Interesting. We'll see what happens if he actually ever comes up in a pineapple costume. Oh, so what's so special about those gloves you found? There was some interesting stuff in that costume box, after all. That's the roller crust on the gloves. Do you think these gloves belong to our victim? You want to analyze those gloves further? I know just the woman to help. Mar Marina Romanova. Romanova. She's our icy Russian profiler, and I think she's hot for me. Ah, it's me. What the heck is in the background there? So it looks like, like a teddy bear or something. All right, so what's gonna be dust? What's gonna be on this? Ooh, nice work! They can't be found at the theater. Is awesome. Look at that weird symbol on it. More luck, Ace. We've hired a new team member, Armand Dupont. He's a historian, and symbols, culture, and stuff are his specialty. The bureau only recruits the best. But if I'm being honest, Dupont could. Put me to sleep in a heavy metal concert. We should still take this candle to him. Hey, if he knows all this information, that's just something that we gotta do. All right, so I'm gonna be speeding this all up for chapter one for all of you guys. So let's go through, speed this up. Ooh, so you're the senior trooper ace everyone is talking about. I'm Dr. Romanava, but you can call me Marina. All right. Hey, sweetheart, you never answered about that date we were supposed to go on. Oh, Archer, the bit nails in your left hand suggest your charm is skin deep, whereas your side parted hair tells me you still have issues with your mother. Neither are qualities I look for in a lover. Oh, wow. The meaner you are to me, the more I like you. Delusions are never healthy, Archer. Now, Ace, let's get straight to the point. Those gloves you found in the theater belong to your killer. The Royal Crest links them to your murder. However, they can't have been the victims as they seem well used. Princes wear a fresh pair of gloves every day. It's tradition. Furthermore, there are tiny red marks on the gloves' tips, consistent with paint from London phone box. Therefore, they must be the killers. So you're saying that the killer is a member of the royal family? Not so simple. Everyone wants royal style clothes these days. You can buy those gloves in shops. The interesting thing is, these aren't ordinary gloves, they're horse riding gloves. Ace, I bet my doctor that your killer enjoys horse riding. All right, she's already my favorite. Favorite teammate so far. I mean, aside from Jack Archer, which again, I think we've basically already established that uh, there's similarities, so I definitely like, I appreciate that. Hey Dupont, this is Ace, our new detective investigating the prince's murder. Oh, senior trooper ace. Enchanté. Bonjour Dupont at your service. You French. You're always so charming. How dare you, ridiculous American boy. I'm not French. I'm from Switzerland. Yikes. Sorry to wind it up your cuckoo clock there. Will you just tell us about the symbol ace found on that candle? And, uh, ah. Uh, Hercule Poirot, everyone calls him the French detective and he always corrects them and says that he's the Belgian detective. 
Ob, yes sir. The candle. It was most illuminating. That symbol is clearly a magic spell. Superstitious nonsense, if you ask me. The only time I've ever seen this symbol is in a book written by some mad monk called Brother Klaus. He's a very strange man. I'm surprised the British police haven't arrested him. And if you found it in the theater, Ace, that must be where Klaus is hiding. A dark and somber theater? He must feel right at home. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that creepy theater and talk to a creepy monk about a murder. Cool. I'm gonna let you take the lead on this one, Ace. I'm sure you can handle it. Yeah, no worries. This guy doesn't look creepy at all. What's up, Brother Klaus? Hello. Is there anyone there? Honestly, Ace, I don't think there's anyone here. DuPont must have... Who dares disturb me? Oh my god, Ace, save me! No, I am no god. I am just a monk, hiding in this theater from the wickedness of the world. I've seen many things. The fall of mankind, the destruction of souls, and the crushing weight of modernity. The fires of Hades burns human flesh. Okay, I doubt we're gonna get much out of this guy. I don't think he could even tell us what planet he's currently on. Vermin, ghouls, the Antichrist is coming for you. Your sin shall have nowhere to hide. Um, well, thank you for all the advice, Brother Klaus. We'll come back when you're, um, all of us crazy. Yeah, so, he doesn't have any distinguishing features. I pretty much can guarantee you that he's not the murderer. Pleased to meet you. I'm your corner, Angela Douglas. And it says that on her Nobel Prize for Biology. Cool, huh? Oh, stop it, Archer. The Nobel Prize isn't a big deal. Listening secrets from dead bodies, now that's... What? <laughs> hey, baby, I've almost worked out the chemical compound of lithium bicarbonate. Ace, hey, so this is Lars, my husband. He works in forensics. When he's not blowing things up, that is. Sure, the detective who brought him Prince Albert. What a terrible murder. Given her the worst of it, the autopsy revealed the prince was poisoned. His lungs were filled with carbon oxychloride, poisonous gas. Examine the phone receiver that the prince was holding. That's where the gas was released. A small cancer was hidden inside the phone, designed to release the gas when the phone was spoken into. Pretty sophisticated murder weapon, right? And just the way that Lars is wearing a shirt that I think says like the Lone Roses, which is a harken back to Grimsboro, the guy who got killed like in the drum set. So the prince picked up the receiver and was gassed? But what was he doing in Westminster Lane? How did this killer know he would be there? No idea. I can tell you that your killer made a mistake. I found traces of Camellia Sinensis inside the device. The killer drank a cup of tea before killing the prince. The killer drinks tea? Isn't that what everyone in Britain drinks all the time? Alright Ace, evidence is evidence and we'll catch the tea drinking killer even if we have to interview every person on this darn island. Murder weapon is the phone booth. That is awesome. First day on the job, we've got ourselves a murder more British than cricket. So, who do you think killed the prince? I have a few theories. Firstly, that banker dude. He doesn't seem upset about Prince Albert's death, but that could just be a stiff upper lip. So that, that right there is definitely gonna be a clue. Count Rupert, the new heir to the throne, wasn't that cut up either. He was more interested in how much money he'll get. So much for royal duty. If I had to guess, I would guess him. We know the killer rides horses and drinks teas. That could be anyone in this darn country, from a chimney sweep to the Queen of England. Ha, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be funny if the Queen turned out to be a suspect? Would we get beheaded for that? Sir Trooper Ace, you were to come with me at once. Wait a minute, you can't just barge in here. What authority do you have? The Queen of England's authority. Her Majesty wants to speak with you. Oh! Majesty, nice, I like it. Well anyways guys, I will see you guys in chapter two. Make sure to like and comment down below. Pitching is 88, over and out.